Hey everybody, you can see now I'm making a lovely wild green smoothie made from amazing dandelion flowers, daisy flowers, um, some wild pea and their flowers, some, um, what's it called, cleaver, some dock, so thistle uh, leaves, so thistle um, buds here, so thistle, you can eat all the so thistle and their dandelion and so thistle, you can eat the flowers, they look alike but they're not, they're not exactly the same but they look alike, you can eat the flowers, you can eat the, the buds, you can eat the stalk, you can eat the leaves, you can eat the roots, you can eat everything, with the peas you can eat wild pea, you can eat, tastes a bit like pea by the way for sure, you can eat the flowers, stalk, leaves, um, I'm also adding in dock leaves here, they're like sour dock, this is flat dock, it comes in a different variety called curly dock too, where it's like curly instead of leaves. Um, there's yeah, daisy flowers, so, oh, also the thistle shoots, thistle buds, so, these are like soft spines, they're a tiny little bit spiky, but not really, you know, and I'm just going to blend it all with, over here, there's my new distiller, pure water, I'm going to blend it all with some like, uh, oh, a bit of ginger in there, a bit of ginger, flaxseed, um, banana, I think nearly all of this is organic, organic flaxseed, ginger, banana. Organic is important in my opinion, also organic um, oranges. My idea these days is to deeply nourish myself and the more I nourish myself the less I'll crave other non-healthy foods or non-optimal foods. So I want to live more on cheap free food, that's the most powerful. And also just bananas that are also cheap, that are organic and tasty and better quality than the non-organic and less toxics and pesticides. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video to share with you what I'm doing and maybe you might be inspired to go out there this spring, pick a whole lot of stuff. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blend loads of this stuff and like even more bananas. Here's a little box of oranges. And I'm going to basically like put in some bottles, like some bottles like this, so I can have it for the day. So I don't have to come back and keep blending and blending and I can carry it out with me. And my plan is to avoid like temptations and cravings from being in shops, which I want to go back to being all raw again, or like just like super nutritional food. I want to ask myself, like, what is my body? What's the healthiest for my body that I can take next? And anyway, the, the, the benefits of all this stuff is like incredible. I'm not going to wash these in the water because I want to keep the pollen. The pollen is really good for you. So I'm only going to really like wash the leaves and stuff, which just rinse them a little bit, you know. And in the past, I didn't even bother to rinse, to be honest, but I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm doing it now. But yeah, that's, that's it. So anyway. The more you nourish, the more you won't crave drugs and unhealthy stuff because a lot of time our cravings come because our body is starved or undernourished for a very long time. So I find personally speaking, starting off with either a juice or not juicing then stuff like a whole lot of like herbal and superfood powders, followed by a wild green smoothie or even just a green smoothie made from fruits and greens and optional flax seeds or optional ginger and stuff. I find that to be extremely nourishing and satisfying, like deeply satisfying to be honest. And then I can stick with that. As, so for me personally, I need to get nourished with nutrients and then nourished also with calories. If I don't, I'll end up craving stuff. So anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you have a lovely spring and summer this, this year. I'll put up a link here for a playlist on my other like wild green foraging videos. And uh, I have a herb shop called Higher Self Herbs Below. That I, where I sell um, superfoods, enzymes, um, herbs and essential oils. Have a look below there, just like so much information and things to educate yourself on. Like lots of things that are alternative to medicines or to legal, legal drugs which are bad for you. They wreck and weaken your body and you get dependent on need more of them. Very bad in my opinion to be honest, generally taking drugs. So go on the herbs instead and get healthy, fix your body up. I used to be really sick and unwell and it took me a very long time to learn and educate myself how to get better and then apply it and have a lot of energy and wellness in my life again. So what I'm doing now is, what I'm sharing in this video is the free part. If you want to give yourself an extra boost or you're traveling or you don't live beside a clean, like lots of greenery, take herbs and superfoods, which is generally what I always take, always every day anyway, and shift more towards veganism and raw food. Um, little by little more and more as you feel happy and comfortable and switch more towards organic and as much as you can afford for sure so support the farmers markets get the boxes in bulk where there's less waste and packaging 
So shift more towards less waste and packaging and shift more towards more um, natural clothes like made from cotton, linen, linen is made from flax. So made from cotton, flax um, and any other natural fibers you like instead of like synthetic like plastic type of fibers. More comfortable and better for the environment too so more sustainable. Uh, other than that um, I also do life coaching, health coaching and relationship coaching which you can check out below. And I appreciate and really love anyone who shares the video and likes or favorites or supports my work. Thank you very much. I'll see you again in another video and have a beautiful day. Thanks. Take care. God bless.